Why follow silence with Philadelphia? Well, with Philadelphia, um, uh, the AIDS epidemic had really kicked in in America. Ronald Reagan was the president of the country, and he was completely uh, homophobic and against um, any effort to uh, 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 combat the epidemic. And um, I had friends um, and loved ones who um, were HIV positive and AIDS. So I guess as, 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 an, as an American who makes films, I found myself wanting to, to in my work, somehow address um, uh, that whole situation. So I teamed up with like-minded people. Ron Nicewaner, great screenwriter, also um, wanted to do a film that would deal with, with AIDS. And we discovered very, very early when we were trying to come up with the right story for the film, uh, we realized that what we really had to do was to make a film that dealt with homophobia. Um, because homophobia um, was the burning root cause of AIDS discrimination, and, and that needed to be addressed before you could even get on to AIDS discrimination. So that was, uh, it was a very, very personal um, desire to contribute to the dialogue on AIDS. Were you f did you feel you were making it under a microscope? Did no. No? No. No, we, we went down to Philadelphia and made our film, and... and um, uh, then it, we had, again, we had no way of anticipating what kind of response uh, we'd make. And I remember the first night I went to, a, uh, the day it opened, I was in Miami, Florida, and uh, my producing partner, Ed Saxon, and I went to a cinema where it was playing, and we asked the, the manager, you know, how many people showed up, and he said, oh, it's packed. And, oh my God, really? So we, we waited outside the cinema when the doors opened up and saw people leaving and everybody looked very grim and sort of it was difficult to tell if they had liked the film or, or not. So um, uh, then we, we found out that uh, people had turned out. I guess Tom Hanks obviously gave us um, an enormous uh, helping hand in, in reaching out to an audience. And um, uh, his presence in the film, I think, sent, sent a signal to a lot of people. It also proved to us that so many lives had already been touched by AIDS that there were people who wanted to see this film because they were living through a, a one way or another, either with a loved one or a friend, living through a similar experience. I mean, I quite, I very clearly actually remember the whole pre-Philadelphia, Philadelphia coming out period. And it did seem that every move you were making, especially in the uh, casting of Tom Hanks, who at that time wasn't the hero of Apollo 13, or Forrest Gump, or Saving Private Run, he was still the guy from Big. Mm -hmm. So that your casting choice there was on the surface, quite unusual. But there was an awful lot of social, how's it going? What do you want to say with this? Why cast a comedian? Ah, oh, you got Denzel Washington playing, da 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 da. But it wasn't like that at all. I'm not sure. You know, when you're under the microscope, sometimes you don't realize it's there. Because in some ways, it seemed that the film was a product of the most, I'm going to say this, the, um, it was incredibly careful. It was incredibly careful film that you're trying to address these issues in a certain way without offending anyone necessarily or trying to do possibly, I suppose the simplest way to put it, the best job possible. But you don't see it that way at all. Well, when you say that, it makes me realize that, um, I mean, our, our, our target audience for Philadelphia, um, was we, we weren't interested in making a film for people with AIDS or for, the gay audience or um, people who were already sensitive about homophobia and AIDS. Our target audience were people who were, were homophobic, were prejudiced against people with AIDS. We wanted to, to get a film out there that would make them stop and think about their attitudes towards gay people, people with AIDS. So um, the film was very carefully crafted to seduce uh, homophobic people into seeing the humanity and the courage, uh, even the heroism of people with AIDS and gay people. So it was a very calculated film.